Well, folks, it is Saturday, and we got an awesome Wave 7 NASCAR Authentics diecast that was actually canceled to review today. Here is Ryan Blaney's 2020 Dex Imaging Ford Mustang. Hell, daddy folks, it is Diecast Buffet here again. Welcome back to a brand new Way 7 2020 NASCAR Authentics review. Today, we got a DMP, a canceled diecast. Yeah, many of y'all pre ordered this car and they still can't it. Well, guess what? They saved it with Wave 7 2020. I gotta say, the packaging for this car is absolutely beautiful. Now, sure, it's just a, you know, very plain red and white, but. I tell you what, this looks freaking amazing, man. You know, red and white to me is such a racing motorsports color. And honestly, I think they did a fantastic job with the packaging. Now, here's the outlook at all the Wave 7 diecast. We've reviewed everything except for the truck and the Boyer diecast. We'll be reviewing the Boyer diecast next Saturday, so you can stay tuned for that. But without further ado, let's go and get this 2020 Ryan Blaney Dex Imaging Ford Mustang right out of the box. Alrighty, folks. Brand new out of the package, and holy crap, we got some uh, authentic style quality. Uh, wow. Uh, so check this out. You got the whole front left fender here. You got some, uh, I don't know what the heck this is. Looks like it just ran over some road gravel or something. You got a Sharpie smudge above the Goodyear logo, and you got a random decal or paint chip here. But that's all good and dandy, right? Uh, anyway, so this is a car that got canceled. Um, definitely a beautiful die cast, nonetheless. I mean, look at the white spoiler. Look at the black splitter, but that beautiful Penske scallops with the red and white design. Look at the wheels, man, especially this back wheel. Holy crap, that is absolutely beautiful. Now, this die cast, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, I don't know, I'm kind of uh, confused on this one. So, I think this car ran at the 2020 Coke 600. Could be wrong on that. Um, but if it did, wouldn't it have the uh, NASCAR Salutes logo? So, it doesn't have that. So, I'm beginning to think this ran at another race. I, I forget which one, maybe Darlington or something. I'm not sure. Uh, if you know, feel free to at least to uh, let me know down below. So, you got Dex Imaging right here. Same sponsor for Mr. Uh, Harrison Burton in the Xfinity Series. But this diecast has got freaking acne on it. Look at this. You got freaking bubbles and pimples over here. Uh, clearly, they didn't let this die cast dry or get all the air pockets out before it actually, uh, the decal set. Beautiful clear coat here on the nose, though, the hood at least, uh, very, very shiny. Got Penzoil, Ford, got Mustang here. The whole front decal is all wonky jaw, so this is pretty much uh, a bootleg Wreckers or Checkers 164. Uh, the whole front decal piece here, I mean, look at this. I mean, the whole Ford ponies going up here instead of being flat as a board. I uh, got the red number 12 there, which is very nice. You got Lincoln Welders and Sunoco. Uh, going to be to the left side of this die cast. And let's zoom in a little bit here so you can get a better look at this die cast. Now, like I said, this was canceled. So if you want to get this freaking die cast, unfortunately, you're going to have to hunt for it at Wave 7 for your local retail stores. But luckily, I was able to get this die cast. And you can't see some, uh, is that scratches? Or is that decal uh, overlap? I don't know what that is. I think it's a decal overlap. Could be wrong. Kind of does look like scratches now I think about it. Anyway, so this die cast is covered in freaking pimples, so that's great. Uh, you got Ryan Blaney right there with the Penske font. You got Advanced Auto Parts, Ford, whatever that is, PPG, Mazak, and Discount Tire. I forget how many Ryan Blaney cars we've gotten in 2020, but it is a astounding amount. I mean, truth be told, everyone talks about the Elliott cars. Everyone talks about the Harvick cars. No one talks about how many Ryan Blaney die casts we continue to get in 2020. And I, as a Blaney fan, I'm not complaining. I love diecasts. Uh, you get NASCAR, race car, NASCAR Cup Series. Look how bad the freaking quality is on this. Quality is over here on the left, left, right. I mean, good God Almighty. I mean, this thing looks like it's all chipped up. Uh, even got a, a small little air bubble right there on the side skirt. Let's go over to the caboose of this diecast. I love the white spoiler here, guys. That looks freaking clean, bro. Uh, the red and the white, you know. That's kind of the channel colors, honestly. You know, red and white. And I believe they did not make this car last season in 2019. So, to my knowledge, this is the first uh, Dex Imaging Ryan Blaney Ford Mustang uh, for the uh, Cup Series, which is very cool. You get the Dex Imaging logo right there on the, the caboose of this die cast. You got uh, over here, you got the Ford license plate. Look at all those air pockets down there. Holy crap. I uh, got the number 12 right there. 
going over to the right side of this die cast. The decals look a little bit, a uh, little bit, uh, I don't know, a little bit skewy here. I don't know about y'all, but that 12 looks like it's uh, not very centered. So you can see how the uh, Dex Imaging logo is a little bit going uphill. And it looks like the 12 is as well. So that pretty much tells me it looks like this whole side decal is a little shot up, unfortunately. You know, that's that's line out quality for you. But I mean, look at the freaking B post decal. Holy crap. I mean, that's just that's just lazy. That is just freaking lazy. And look at the Ryan Blaney decal. Look at the advanced auto parts decal. This is where it's supposed to be. This is where it's supposed to be. But it's all the way over here on the roof rail. Oh my Jesus, help this die cast. So you go over to the roof of this car. Very cool Penske fashion here. No roof flap spots here. Just a beautiful uh, white and black number 12 right there. Very beautiful. The red on this freaking car though is absolutely beautiful. It, truth be told, it's it's literally the, the Wood Brothers like red orange, right? Uh, it might look a little bit different on camera, but off camera, I mean, it is like almost exactly uh, like the Wood Brothers red-orange style color. Of course, on the deck lid, you got decks once again. And, you know, since this is a authentic style cast, you do get a little bit of an accessory that goes with it, of course. You know, and you, some people really like these, some people don't. Uh, personally, I like the hoods and the uh, die-cut magnets the most. Now, this one is unfortunately just a, just a, you know, a thin sticker here, but you can still use it, you know, you could put it whatever you want. Truth be told, though, I kind of wish they would have uh, chunked in a magnet instead, you know, kind of gives you a little bit more bang for your buck. But, uh, it does take, obviously, heavy inspiration from the left side here. Notice how the outlining on the, uh, the sticker here is much, uh, bolder compared to the door number here and the roof number. So, uh, quite interesting to note how the, the scalps are roughly the same. But the, the actual the, the, the number there is a little bit more uh, bold on the fonts. So anyways, uh, what do y'all think of this 2020 Dex Imaging Ryan Blaney Ford Mustang? I gotta say, quality issues aside, this diecast is absolutely beautiful. And I still wonder where this car ran. Because I, I swore it ran at the Coke 600. And uh, I gotta say, man, I mean, if you look at the car from, like, this angle, you know, just how the white Penske scalps work, going all the way up to the spoiler, this is one of the best Ryan Blaney paint schemes of the season. I mean, truth be told, beautiful race car. Uh, the quality issues, I mean, this is another thing that chaps my mind in. Look at the right front wheel paint. Look at this crap. It looks like a PTC mold tire. Look how bad that looks. But then you go over here to the right rear of it. Look how beautiful this right rear wheel looks. Deep dish, three-dimensional style paint job there. Very, very sharp, accurate pin line there. I mean, it, you, you can't even you can't even do it. And the the, the the left front here is a little bit skewed up here. I don't know. It just you see how the difference is. I mean, it's almost like an Indy car wheel. How like the back tires are bigger than the front tires. And you go on this side, and it's it's more of the same. If they could get this, uh, you know, rim size when they're painting it. If they could get this and just for some way, somehow, whatever it takes, get it to be accurate in all four of the wheels, that would be great, because Lionel has a tendency of doing this, where they make some of the painted wheels smaller than others. Personally, it drives me nuts, because this one looks flawless, right? But this one looks like a PTC wheel. I don't know. Anyways, folks, thank you all so much for watching the video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. Of course, you know, upload these diecast related videos every day, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And you can stay tuned to that every day for some more awesome diecast videos. And of course, if you like diecast racing, you know, tell you what, we're gonna we're gonna run this car in the uh, January 17th Richmond uh, Doras Cup Series race. You're going to be able to see this car in its entirety. It's going to be fun. Uh, who knows how fast this car. It's unscripted die cast racing. Um, if you're new to the series, it's it's literally, it's like, it, imagine 40 die casts on an oval NASCAR track, right? And unscripted racing. Cars crash, pass, and bash. It's not downhill racing. No, it's oval stock car action. Check it out. Full playlist down below. But, uh, Wow, what a freaking awesome uh, diecast here. Have a great one, folks. Stay humble. Diecast Buffet, signing off.